Welcome to the Fairy Worlds Music Festival 2013 in Eugene, Oregon. We're back with Richard Waters of CampingYurts.com. And I guess it's been about three years since the Green Expo in Medford. Yeah, three years. Three years. A lot's happened in three years. Well, can you tell us about it? Yeah, let's, let's go inside. So Richard, how's business? It's good, it's good. We've sold a lot of yurts in the last uh, three years, I think, since we spoke. So uh, yeah, it's, it's been very good. So who's buying? Well, obviously we were making them for the, for the campers, um, for people to go camping in, but we're now selling to people who want to, who do festivals like this uh, Fairy Worlds Music Festival. We have people who do Renaissance fairs and SEA, um, and, and you know, from, to high-end yurts, people who want them in their backyard for gazebos or summer accommodation, bedrooms, entertainment, you know, and things like that. So it's, it's everyone and anyone. Okay, and new developments? Uh, yes, yeah, since then we've, um, I think we were doing the round windows, I think when we last met, we do the roof dome as well, wooden doors now. Um, the larger yurts? We do larger yurts, there's uh, a 20 foot yurt now is our biggest. Uh, we do a, we did the 12 and the 14, I think the 12 and the 16 when we met, we do a 14 now and the 20 which is a lot bigger, has two doors. Um, we're selling that to people who like to do expos and use them as stands for shows. And they're a little taller? Uh, the, the, the standard height is 54 inches, this is 65, which you really want for a bigger yurt. It, um, it just creates more space, more headroom, easier access, especially if it's like a public access uh, kind of yurt. And we also do a, a kiddies six foot yurt now, so it's a little play yurt, kids can camp out in it, it's very cute. Okay, it should be popular. And I noticed behind the stage here at Fairy Worlds, there's a couple of yurts, are those yeah, yours? Yeah, they're mine. So that's, that's kind of a new development, we're getting into the rental business. The guys here at Fairy Worlds wanted hospitality yurts. They wanted something unique to um, entertain the bands before they go on stage. So uh, we've put a couple behind stage. So we want to get into um, VIP accommodation. So organizations like Fairy Worlds, big music festivals, want to put on um, special accommodation that people will pay for you know, and, and get pampered a little bit. So we'll be doing that next year here at Fairy Worlds and, and elsewhere probably by then too. And why are people buying yurts? You, you say things are expanding. What's driving the market? So Certainly this, um, this festival culture is, is, is coming, festivals are getting very big, music festivals and things, and I think people want something different to, to camp out in. They don't want to sit in their little nylon pup tent and, and sweat. They want something cool and different where they can all hang out, have a fire in the middle or something like that. You know, it's, it's just, people want more from their festival. It's more of an experience. They want something different. They want something a bit more luxurious. How about Burning Man? Are you going to Burning Man? I'm not going to Burning Man, but um, a lot of my yurts go to Burning Man and we're doing a very special one for a, a, a guy that wanted a custom yurt specially for Burning Man. The trouble with Burning Man, it gets very dusty, it's alkaline, very fine alkaline dust and it gets very windy, so a lot of tents just get blown away. Uh, yurts obviously are very aerodynamic and so they, they stay on the ground, you still have to stake them down, but the wind and the dust are the big problem, so we've made a an integrated um, ground sheet that goes on the outside of the wall between the wall and the canvas and it's velcroed in and at the top of the wall between the roof canvas and the, uh, the wall canvas is more velcro and then in the roof dome we have a clamping system that will clamp the roof down so we're hoping that this will be a, a great yurt, a burning man yurt is what we're going to call it so it, it keeps everything out hopefully. And you've got some big names that have picked up uh, camping yurts? We do, we do, we've been doing some big stuff um, for Honda we did a um, their car brochure for their new CRV, that was a beautiful uh, uh, picture that they did for that. Uh, REI, we, we did a film shoot up in um, uh, Baker, in, up near the border of Canada in the snow doing their winter brochure. And Whole Foods, they even bought a Whole yurt. Foods. Whole Foods. They wanted an office yurt. Um, we, we also did this for a company called Meraki.com in San Francisco. They're a high-tech company. And what they had, they had a big open plan office and they wanted like work rooms and meeting rooms, but they didn't want to build something. So they thought, well, what about yurts? So they have, just like this really, sort of these work rooms that are laid back, cushions, and, and it's... They're ex inexpensive and mobile? Or? I think that's the other thing too. And, it, and they're cool, they're fun for the employees. I see. And new stuff on the horizon? New plans? Yeah, always, always new stuff coming up. So uh, obviously last year, Lord of the Rings came out, and so I've always felt that um, a round yurt needs a round door, a hobbit door. So that's something I'm working on is a big, a big ring to enter through. Rather than a square door, have a round door. And I think that would be very cool. And what's this I hear you're putting yurts and trees? Well, I haven't done it yet. It's something I want to do. I want to create a, um, a yurt tree house. Okay, and how do you do that? Well, obviously the biggest problem is putting where the ring has got to go round the tree trunk. How do you do that? So what I'm going to do 
is create a ring, mm -hmm. cut it in half, and put a, a four inch hinge here and a four inch hinge here with a removable pin, then you can open it up, put it around the tree and clamp it. But obviously um, you need a platform, so I'm working on the platform, mm -hmm. um, but ultimately I wanna be able to put a, a, a yurt up in a tree, maybe 15, 20 feet up in the air and have this fantastic place up in the trees. With a good view. Yeah. And anything else on the drawing board? Yeah, I wanna create more air coming into the yurt, more windows, but rather than putting lots of windows in, what we're thinking of doing is is dropping the top six inches of the wall on the outside, dropping it down, having bug screen all the way around. And that creates like a 360 degree window and more ventilation, which would be really cool. Oh, very good. Richard's been nice catching up and uh, maybe next time you'll see me in one of your camping Well, yurts. hopefully, and it'll be nice to catch up with you again in a few years. All right, thank you.